Hi, in this video, we're going to do some division with complex numbers. We're going to start with this example, and then we'll do at least one more example in this video. So we're going to divide 3 plus 4i by 1 minus 2i. Let's go ahead and start. Solution. So in problems like this, the first thing I like to do is actually write down the problem again. So 3 plus 4i over 1 minus 2i. And now we want to multiply by what's called the complex conjugate. So the complex conjugate of 1 minus 2i is just 1 plus 2i. All you do is switch the sign. But in order to do that, like legally in mathematics, we're going to multiply by 1 like this. 1 plus 2i over 1 plus 2i. And that's allowed, right? Because these cancel and we're basically multiplying by 1. So you might be wondering, why did we do this? Well, the goal is to get rid of the complex number on the bottom, right? And so now there's a formula we can use. It says that if you have a minus bi times a plus bi, this is just a squared plus b squared. And this is a super powerful formula. You can verify by just multiplying it out, by using FOIL or distributing, same thing, and you will get this. So let's keep going. So this is equal to, so in the numerator, I'm just going to, I'm gonna write it again. Three plus four i, I don't wanna to do too much at once, but you can multiply them, but I'll write it one more time. One plus two i over, and on the bottom, Oh, why not? I'll write it again. 1 minus 2i, 1 plus 2i. So you see, now it's all under one fraction. So this is equal to, all right, let's go ahead and distribute. So in the numerator, it'll be 3 times 1, which is 3, and then 3 times 2i, which is 6i, 4i times 1, which is 4i, 4i times 2i is 8i squared, and remember, i squared is equal to negative 1. Let's check. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2i is 6i, 4i times 1 is 4i, 4i times 2i is 8i squared, over, and the denominator, we can apply this super powerful formula, so a is 1 and b is 2, right, so it's going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared, boom, this is equal to, so let's see, 8i squared, well that's going to be 8 times negative 1, which is negative 8, right, so it's going to be 3 minus 8, which is negative 5, 6i plus 4i is 10i, and then we have 1 plus 4, which is 5. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, happy day. Look, we can simplify this, so we can write this as negative 5 over 5 plus 10i over 5. So this is equal to negative 1 plus 2i. And I don't know if this is correct, but I have the answers, because this is from my book, Superpowered College Algebra 1. And it is correct. We did it right. By the way, if you are interested in problems like this and more, a lot more, uh, check out the link in the description uh, for this book. Okay, let's go ahead and do another example. Let's do example two from this book uh, just to see how it works. And I think I can squeeze it in on the same piece of paper. I'm trying to save a tree here. I don't want to kill trees. I like trees. They provide oxygen. So divide divide 5 plus 2i over 3 plus i. Okay, so let's try this one now. So same as before, right? Make sure I copied it down, right? Yep. Same as before, this time we're going to write it down again. So solution, 5 plus 2i over 3 plus i. And as before, we're going to multiply by the complex conjugate. And so to find that, you basically just switch the sign. So 3 minus i. 3 minus i. Good stuff. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to write it again under one fraction just to keep the procedure um, the same, right? So we have the same procedure. So if you're just learning this stuff. And then again, I write the denominator down again, 3 plus i, 3 minus i, just like that. Okay, this is equal to giant fraction. So let's distribute 5 times 3 is 15. A little arrow there. 5 times negative i is minus 5i. And then 2i times 3 is 6i. Right, that's that one. And then 2i times negative i is negative 2i squared. But remember, remember i squared is equal to negative 1. And let's not forget our super powerful formula, which says that if you have a minus bi times a plus bi, you get a squared plus b squared. Now we're going to apply that to the denominator, right? So a is 3. B is one here, there's an invisible one there, okay? So it'll be three squared plus one squared, just like that. Perfect. 
okay, this is going to be negative, it's going to be 2, right, because it's negative 2i squared, which is negative 2 times negative 1, which is 2. This is going to become a positive 2. So 15 plus 2, that's going to be 17. Negative 5i plus 6i is i over, and then here we have 3 squared plus 1 squared, it's 9 plus 1, so it's 10. Very nice. This is equal to 17 over 10. Well, this feels wrong. <laughs> plus i over 10. I hope it's right, because otherwise I have to, I guess, not post this video. 17 over 10 plus 1 tenth i. And that should be the answer. I don't know. It feels very wrong. Um, I'm going to look at because it just doesn't look good. Let's look in the book. Oh, it's correct. It's correct. Where is the confidence? Uh, I've made entire videos on confidence in mathematics, and I lost mine there for it. Just seems like a weird answer, uh, but it's it's correct. It's the answer, right? And as you can see, some of the answers here are ugly. So you do get some uglier problems uh, in this book. So that's how you divide complex numbers. Hopefully, it's been helpful. Check out my book if you're interested in more problems like this. I have courses. I have entire I have an entire course on college algebra, which covers a lot more than my books. Uh, my books are like they're like little books. They're workbooks. They have just lots of examples. So they're easier than regular books. That's the good thing, so you can learn. Uh, but my course is more comprehensive. Uh, link in the description or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. Use my links, please. I've got full full course on everything from college algebra. So the way to get good at this, my friends, is to just do a little bit every day. Uh, and the more you do, uh, the better you get. Let's just go over it really quickly one more time, just, to, just so you get the idea. So in our first example, we had 3 plus 4i over 1 minus 2i. And again, you always start by multiplying by the complex conjugate. So to find that, you just basically switch the sign, right? And then it's 1 plus 2i over 1 plus 2i. And you're multiplying by 1. In the numerator, you just multiply across, right? So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2i is 6i. 4i times 1 is 4i. 4i times 2i is 8i squared. And then this is negative 8. That's because i squared is negative 8. So we got negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. 6i plus 4i is 10i. In the denominator, we applied this super powerful formula, which says that if you have a minus bi times a plus bi, you get a squared plus b squared. And, and you can convince yourself it, it will go away, right? Things here will cancel. Um, and then you have 1 squared plus 2 squared. So you have 1 plus 4, which is 5. Here, this little step here, by the way, people always get really confused with this, but you're just going backwards, right? So it's this over this plus this over this. So negative 5i over 5 is negative 1. 10i over 5 is 2i, and that is the final answer. So not too bad. Um, ah, perfect work. No mistakes. I hope it's been helpful. Hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Remember, the key is to just do a little bit every day. Stay strong, my friends.